in. Now a few weeks ago I uploaded a video tutorial which showed you how to add shimmer and sparkle onto your cakes. Now in this video I used luster dust mixed up with dipping solution to create an edible metallic paint and so many of you have asked in the comments for different alternatives to the dipping solution. Also what you can use that doesn't contain any alcohol. So in this week's video tutorial I have been testing it out different things that you can use and I have narrowed it down to my top six ways to make edible metallic paint. You can then use this edible metallic paint on your cakes which have been covered in fondant. Maybe you want to paint a royal icing drip that you've added to the top of your cake or add some detail onto a buttercream cake. Okay let's get started. So in order to make a sparkly metallic edible paint, the first thing that you're going to need is luster dust. Now you want to make sure that the luster dust that you're using is 100% edible and you can get them in so many different brands and in so many different colours. Now the one I'm going to be using in today's video is the metallic luster dust in pure gold by Sweet Sticks and it just has a real shimmer to it. You can get gold in different brands. So this is the pure gold from Sugar Flare. And I've also got the new gold luster dust by Happy Sprinkles. And this one is called Happy Sparkle. So as well as gold, you can get so many different colors. So here is an example of a hot pink version. So this one is by Sweet Sticks. And I also have this really pretty pink diamond, which you would have seen me use on the cakes in the shimmer and sparkle video that I mentioned. So you just want to choose a luster dust in the color that's going to match the theme of your cake. The first example we're going to look at is a dipping solution and this one is by Culpit. Now this is actually exactly the same if you've seen rejuvenating spirit and you can get it in smaller bottles or bigger bottles the same size as this. Now both of these are just food grade ethanol so this one is 96%. Now this example is one that does include alcohol but I will be going through some other examples that don't include any alcohol a little bit further in the video. So I'm just adding some of that luster dust into my paint tray and just adding a few drops of the dipping solution. Now the more liquid that you add, a lot like normal paint, the more diluted it's going to be. So you want to get it to a consistency that it really moves with the brush. Now with the dipping solution or the rejuvenating spirit, that alcohol is going to start evaporating as soon as you add it in. So if the paint starts to thicken up, you just want to add a few more drops. Now for each of the examples, I'm going to be painting these onto these fondant discs that I've created. And on each one, I've just used the Sweet Stamp Frosting Set to add the name of what we've used to create the paint. Now to add my paint, I'm using a large fluffy brush. When doing testing, I found that this really gives less brush marks. I'm just finishing off my disc with a slightly smaller brush just to get into those letters. Now, one of the advantages to using something that is alcohol based and has quite a high alcohol content, when you've painted the metallic paint on, that alcohol in the solution is gonna evaporate and it leaves behind this really beautiful metallic finish. So there we have our disc with the dipping solution. So it has this really shimmery finish and if we touch the disc, after no time at all, there's hardly anything coming off and everything that is coming off has just returned back to that dust finish. Also a great thing about the dipping solution is once it's dried, if you do have any brush marks, you can just go in with a larger fluffy brush, just brushing over the top, which is gonna blend those out. So this one just gives a really great finish and takes no time at all to dry. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you and my joint favorite with the dipping solution is lemon extract. Now you can use other extracts, but lemon extract usually has a very high alcohol content. So if you look at the back of this one, it has 90% ethanol. So if we compare this to the dipping solution, which had 96, it's going to give us a very similar finish. Now looking at different lemon extracts, they seem to have from around 80% to 90% ethanol. A peppermint extract has around 85 to 90%. 
Now on some bottles, it doesn't tell you how much ethanol or alcohol is included. So here I've got a vanilla extract and on the back, it just says contains ethanol. I've done some research and vanilla extract seem to have around 35% alcohol. So it's quite a lot lower than the lemon extract. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of is not all extracts have alcohol in them. So this Sicilian lemon one that I've got here doesn't contain ethanol. It's actually made with a sugar syrup. Now I have tried this one out and unlike the ones that have the alcohol where that's gonna evaporate, the one with the sugar syrup just didn't dry. I left it overnight and it was still wet. So I'm gonna be using the lemon extract that has the 90% ethanol. Now when using the dipping solution or the rejuvenating spirit, once that alcohol has evaporated, it doesn't leave a taste on your fondant or your royal icing. Now, when you use the lemon extract, it's doing exactly the same thing. So that alcohol is evaporating. But the great thing about this is it just leaves that lemon flavor behind. And again, just like the first one, I'm going in, just painting inside my letters with a slightly smaller brush. Now you can see before I've even finished, that paint is no longer wet and the dust is just coming off on my fingers. Now, if I leave this to completely dry, when you run your hand over the top, absolutely nothing will come out. So when I used the dipping solution and the lemon extract, I really couldn't see any difference with the end result. Now I have tested out some different extracts that have a slightly lower alcohol content. And the only difference I can find is it just takes a little bit longer to dry. The third option that I'm gonna show you is vodka. Now, this is just a small bottle of vodka that I bought from the supermarket. Now, I always used vodka previously until I found dipping solutions. So I'm gonna show you the difference. So I'm adding a few drops in, just getting it at the same consistency as the others. Now, if we look at the bottle, it says that the alcohol is 40% volume. So one thing that I have found is by using vodka, it doesn't actually dry as quickly as the other options. So it's still slightly tacky. So I'm gonna leave it a bit longer to dry. Okay, so I've left my disc for around 10 minutes and when I run my finger over the top, it is slightly tacky, but none of that paint does come off. Now, if I compare the dipping solution to the vodka, I have only done one coat on these. So I have found that the vodka is slightly lighter and it isn't actually as shimmery as the dipping solution. You are gonna need a few coats to build up that color. So if you don't have a dipping solution or a lemon extract, then a vodka is a great other option. Now, one question I got asked a lot in the previous video was an alternative to the dipping solution that didn't contain alcohol. So I'm gonna show you the type of metallic paint you can create using luster dust mixed with lemon juice. Now, one advantage to using the lemon juice is it's all natural and also it's gonna smell amazing. Now, I will be honest, the options that I tried that didn't have the alcohol included do take a lot longer to dry. So as you can see, the paint is still wet. One of the things you do also need to do is make sure that there's no excess building up. So I've just been going over with my brush, just making sure that I'm getting out a lot of the brush strokes. So I'm gonna leave this to one side to dry. Okay, so it's been left for around half an hour and if I run my finger just over the top, none of that gold is gonna come off. Now, I will say if I was to compare it to any of the alcohol options, I would say it's quite similar to the vodka. So you would need to build up a few layers so you can't see those brush strokes. Now, it does have a shine to it, but it is slightly matter than the lemon extract or the dipping solution. But it's a great option if you didn't wanna add any alcohol to create your edible paint. Okay, so I have to admit, for the next option, this is one that really surprised me. So this is just regular cold water out of the tap. And I couldn't believe the finish that I was able to get. So if you don't have anything to mix with your luster dust, you can still create a metallic paint. Now it does remain wet for a lot longer, just like the lemon juice. So I'm going in just trying to get rid of any of those brush strokes, just taking off any excess. 
Now, as an option that doesn't involve alcohol, when you do paint it on, it is quite a lot thicker and I think the thickest out of all of them, but you can see a lot of the brush strokes. So I'm gonna leave this to one side so that I can show you once it's dry. Okay, so this has been left to dry and took around half an hour, so the same amount of time as the lemon juice. And if I run my finger over the top, none of that gold comes off. It doesn't feel as smooth as some of the options, but it went on really thick. I think you would need a few coats. So if we compare it to the lemon juice, I would say it gives a slightly thicker coverage, but there isn't much difference. So if you don't have anything to add to your luster dust to create your edible paint, you can just use water. Now, the question was, what can you use instead of dipping solution to create an edible paint? Well, another option, if you didn't want to be adding stuff to your luster dust, is to buy your metallic paint already pre-made. So so here I've got some pure gold edible art paint by Sweet Sticks. So the luster dust I've been using is also by Sweet Sticks. So I got the two in exactly the same color. Now on the back, this edible paint says it does contain 14% ethanol, but different brands do sell metallic paints. And I know that there are some brands that sell them with no alcohol included. As you can see, it's already in a nice runny form, which is the same consistency that I've been trying to create with my luster dust. Now I will say that this example of edible paint just goes on beautifully and I can't actually see any difference between this pure gold colour and the pure gold of their luster dusts. So my edible paint plaque has been left to dry for around half an hour. Now it does have a different feel to the others. So when I run my hand over them, it's got a slight waxy feel. Now, if I was to compare it to one of the others, I would probably say that the closest match is the vodka. So out of the six options that I showed you, if we compare them all together, my favorite definitely is the finish that you get with the dipping solution. It is so metallic and it really looks like it's a piece of metal. It also dried super fast and because that alcohol evaporated and turned back into a dust, we could also use a larger fluffy brush just to buff out any brush strokes. Another thing that I do love about the dipping solution is if you do have any excess paint in your paint tray, once that alcohol has evaporated and your luster dust has dried, you can actually pop it back in your container. So none of the luster dust is ever wasted. Now my second favorite, and I really can't tell the difference between the two, is the lemon extract. Now the lemon extract that I used did have that high alcohol content, but it worked great and went on nice and thick. Now my third option is the vodka. Now this again was one of the alcohol options and it did have a great finish to it. Slightly less metallic than the other two. And I would say that you would need at least two coats if you were using vodka. Also, it did take a little bit longer to dry than the others. Now, for my fourth and fifth option, I'm gonna bring both of those in together. And these are the two that didn't contain any alcohol. So I had the lemon juice and the water. Now, I do find when I look at them, the color in the dipping solution and the lemon extract is a lot deeper of a gold. These ones are also a lot more shimmery than the options that didn't have the alcohol alcohol. You would also need to do a couple of coats of these ones, but they are a great option if you didn't want to use alcohol. Now, the sixth option is the edible paint. Now, it has a great coverage. It does have a slightly different feel to the others. So if I run my finger over the dipping solution, it's very smooth. Whereas on this one, it's a little bit tacky or slightly waxy, which isn't a problem, but it does mean if you get any brush strokes, you can't buff those out with a fluffy brush like you'd be able to with the dipping solution or the lemon extract. Now, I just wanted to narrow it down to the ones that I found worked the best. I did try out a few other ones. I had read that some people had said that you could use vegetable oil or vegetable shortening. Now, I did find that anything that was oil-based just didn't dry. Even after a few days, if you touch that paint, it was still wet. So here we have my top six things that you can use to create an edible metallic paint. Now, I have used gold luster dust, but don't forget you can change the color of your paint just by choosing a different color luster dust.
Now, let me know in the comments below, is there something that you always use that I haven't even mentioned in the video? I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and one of these options will work for you the next time you need to create some edible paint to use on your cake. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like and if you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes Manage YouTube channel. So, until next time, bye!